All right, hello everyone. Just want to make a quick video and uh, share, I guess, some dreams or visions I've had in the last week, week and a half, and also some uh, some thoughts. So, as I've shared before, uh, sometimes I'll be getting ready to to go to sleep and I'll be praying, and then all of a sudden I'm just seeing this super colorful, just what I would call more like a vision and the first one was maybe about a week a little over a week ago and it was just the sky and it was full of lightning like nothing like I've ever seen more lightning than I've ever witnessed um, I am a nature lover as I said you know we live in Colorado and uh, I remember my wife and I hiked uh, to the keyhole at a place called Long's Peak and we were above the clouds and we were looking down on this storm in the middle of the night, and it is just unbelievable how much lightning that we could see. Well, that was nothing compared to this, what I would call a vision I had. So just lightning everywhere. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. I had another one where everything was shaking. Um, just... You know, I've shared, I've had the same thing happen before. Just I'm looking outside and the whole world just started shaking. Um, so those are two of the most recent ones I've had, like I said, maybe in the last week or so. And then I also have dreams. And again, I've shared, I don't believe, obviously, all dreams are from the Lord. Um, you know, for me, if I don't stay close to the Lord, I'm tempted with certain things. Um you know, I have shared before about <laughs> dreams I've had, like of a sexual nature. Um, and what I'm finding is, is that as I've drawn closer to the Lord, if I have a dream and it's funny, a woman or something will tempt me in a dream, I find myself actually within the dream rebuking that person. Um, it's like, you know, was it Joseph ran out of the house, you know? <laughs> um, and then I'll find that I'm forgiving that person and praying for that person in the dream and telling them about the Lord. So that's, that's pretty, pretty encouraging, even in the dream. Um, I want to talk about real quick about a lot of deception and lies out there. I've shared that I do believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. I've read the Bible. Um, I believe the Lord's going to keep us from the time of trouble. Um, Revelation 22, it says the spirit and the bride are calling you to come. Um, so I believe that's for the tribulation saints, the people that are going to be left behind. And if the spirit and the bride are calling people to come, wouldn't that imply that the bride is already with the Lord? So I want to do a video about all these different verses, um, sort of about the Lord keeping us from the time of trouble and the hour of temptation and all that kind of stuff. Um, also like when you read a King James version Bible, this is the Bible I read. I read it because I believe through a set of circumstances, the Lord, this is the Bible. The Lord wanted me to read. Um, I've read this Bible. Um, it's pretty clear. Jesus was God in the Bible, God in the flesh, father, son, and Holy spirit. There's no debate about this. I don't know how anybody could be confused but all kinds of religions, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, um, you know, I've shared about the seven day Adventists with, the, you know, the mark of the beast and some of their beliefs. I mean, they contradict the Bible, the Catholicism, um, things the Pope has said. They contradict the very Bible they say they're preaching out of or using or they'll claim some prophet where Satan put his stamp on some of these prophets. Look at the Mormon temple. There's um, pentagrams all over it. Um, what they believe about Jesus. I want to mention about the show, The Chosen. I found out recently they're tied with the Latter-day Saints. And the Jesus of the Mormons is not the same Jesus in the King James Bible. There's no debate about that. Dallas, the guy who in The Chosen said, oh, you can believe what you want. I believe the King James Version Bible. The Mormon Bible contradicts it. They don't think the same thing about Jesus as I do. I don't know how you could get more clear than that. You know, in an interview, I saw a script that said, Dallas said, believe what you want. Well, I'm going to believe the word of God. That's what I'm going to go with. 
So I'm not supporting that show anymore. And I feel deceived. I contributed to it. I'm not contributing to that show anymore. <laughs> um, uh, so I also want to say the Feast of Trumpets is coming up. And I believe that has something to do with the rapture. Because sometimes people say, you know, on the last trump, we're going to be, you know, in the twinkling of an eye, we're going to meet the Lord in the air. And everybody says, oh, it's the last trump, the last trump. Well, these trumpets are different. There's angelic trumpets. There's um, trumpets for different feasts. And on the Feast of Trumpets, um, you know, I think it was like a hundred trumpet blasts. And on the on the last trump, I believe that's when we're going to be taken up. I don't know if it's going to be on the Feast of Trumpets or when it is. However, there's a difference in the trumpets, and I'm trying to do a little, learn a little bit more about that. Um, and maybe I can kind of address the rapture and some of that in the next video. And I'm going to put some links, um, you know, in the next video and do a little more channel maintenance. But if you're somebody who doesn't know the Lord, or if you're somebody who's listening to this message right now, the Lord is so merciful and so forgiving. If you're struggling in your sin, whatever that may be, um, just seek him and ask the Father in the name of the Son to take it away. The Lord will do it. The, the Lord will do it. The Lord loves you, and we are to be sanctified until the day of his coming. So, and if you're not saved, just ABCs of salvation. Accept that you're a sinner in need of a Savior. That's Jesus. Believe in Jesus and what he did, that he came to earth in flesh and blood as a man, as an atonement for our sins. And, um, you know, you're, you know, you're going to be saved. He's, do he's done the work. And we have a free gift of salvation. Believe in that. And then call on the name of Jesus Christ. All right. I'll make another video soon. And uh, God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ.